Hello and welcome to Let's Try. Uh, I'm going to start this by saying uh, major uh, content warnings for a lot of things, actually. I think this game is pretty graphic. It's pretty uh, intense in a lot of ways. I don't know if I might even be putting myself slightly in danger. I don't know uh, by, by showing this off, but we're going we're gonna to try it. We're going to wing it. All right. So this is Angel at Dusk, and I've been very interested in this game for a bit. Um, I am playing the demo right now just to see if it's my kind of jam, but this is a shmup. Um, it's a top-down shooter with some, you know, like if you've played any kind of Toho, you will probably find yourself right at home with this kind of game. Um, and it's just got some theming that I, I can't ignore. It's interesting, um, to say the least. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to roll with this. Um, some of this is not in a language I can read, uh, and I don't know if that's um, something I can change. But you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and run it as is. So let's go ahead and start. Apparently, there's only one mode, <laughs> which is very hard. Uh, and then I, I have no idea what a lot of this is saying. This is great. I love I love this. This is such a good way of of starting things. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, I, I think I, I think I kind of understand. I can hold the square down, uh, and then I can press it or I can tap it and then I can press circle and that does sort of the same thing. Not really. I don't know what circle is, uh, supposed to be achieving. I guess circle lets me, uh, just have rapid fire. Are these, can I acquire these? Did I just take damage? So if I hold square, that lets me hold up my charge attack. And the charge attack is useful for certain things. Um, I'm not sure exactly when circumstantially it's going to be useful over something else. And then the circle lets me just use my rapid fire. So, okay, I'm learning here. I'm learning things. And oh my goodness, this game already. It's got a vibe, you know? I feel like I'm already, I'm, I'm moving through some kind of, someone's tracked i'm not even gonna say which tract uh and like fighting their vital organs um heck yeah but we love to see it question mark asterisk maybe i don't know uh possibly but uh this is this is working for me this is this is doing something um but hey i'm i'm in, i'm actually already enjoying this this is not too bad it's not as hard as i was expecting i have completed a couple tohos at this point um so i've got some like very rudimentary chops when it comes to avoiding uh what the heck is that bud what are we doing what is happening all right that's fine we're fighting it um we're we're fine we're okay we're all right all right bud i have a cursor i, I thought i turned that off or i did not turn it on to say the least Let's just, uh, let's just roll with our, our basic gun for the time being and do some crowd control. Seems like these guys, you can only take them out with a charge attack. So that's good to know. Okay, that's a lot of, a lot of goons on the screen. I, I, I guess goons. I don't know what's happening. What does the triangle button do? I, I don't know what half the buttons do yet. It seems like I've got a lot of information on the right of the screen. But, uh, it, and it doesn't seem to want to go away. Those are like notifications in a foreign language. <gasps> XP. I don't know what that means. What do you want me to do? I haven't leveled up yet. Angel of Harmony. Emmanuel Ladzla Lanze. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is kind of what I was... I'm not going to say I was afraid of this, but definitely for, uh, for YouTube, this is going to be interesting. I, I, w I don't think I would, um... I definitely wouldn't stream this on Twitch, but thank God I'm off of that hell site and on a whole new hell site. But anyway, here we are. Um, this is definitely going to be a, a different one for, for this channel. A new, new turf has been, uh, <laughs> is being treaded most casually. Okay. And we're cool with it. We're just going to roll with it and I'm not going to, I'm not even going to question it for two seconds. We're, we're fighting it. This is, it feels like this is basically, what was that game I played on stream? Um, it was like just the gore survival horror game. 
uh, I'm trying to remember. It was something called like gore uh, manifest violence. I don't know. I can't remember. Everything was made of flesh. And uh, that's that's where we're at here, bud. Um, I think I'm doing okay. I feel like I feel confident in uh, my how I'm performing right now. Uh, I feel like actually I'm feeling pretty comfortable with some of these mechanics. I gotta say, they're they're pretty comfortable. They're they're actually like for a shmup for a bullet hell style game. This isn't too uh, unmanageable. I'm sure someone is like looking at this as like that's not unmanageable, dude. You are insane. I'm like. It's it's okay. It's fine. I've played I, I've for the first level. Uh, honestly, I've played harder Like immediately, um, which is not a that's not a boast. That's like I, I'm just like setting expectations for like uh, this genre is uh, Is is well known for its high amount of difficulty. So I'm I'm expecting something like insane uh, and and this is delivering but it's not completely inaccessible so i have only taken the one damage also uh with this kind of genre something you can really expect um is easy to expect is uh the game expects you to get through it without ever using a continue if you want to see any kind of like interesting ending or even like reach the later parts of the game apparently i have missiles now flesh missiles of course i wouldn't expect anything less to be honest from from this the developer or developers or a company has uh, published a couple of games like this. There's a they have a couple of shmups in the same vein of like grotesque, you know, uh, cranked to eleven, a visual, uh, thematic like you know we are in the sixth circle of hell and we are we're 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 gonna we're gonna continue walking. Wow, that's some of these visuals really are something else. I gotta say, can I collect that? I am not sure what is collectible and what is to be avoided, if I'm being honest. If I, if I had one, um, I'd say criticism, that's maybe it, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're doing. Um, I'm, I, I haven't really tried all the buttons yet, if I'm being honest. Like, But it really seems like they told you all the buttons right away. There is uh, press square, there is hold square, and then there is hold circle. And... Um, I'm, I'm very attached to holding square for this charge attack. It seems to do quite well for me. I'm enjoying it. Uh, definitely, I have to think about two things at once while I'm avoiding bullets, but that's okay. Uh, it's working for me so far. No, there's no slow button. I don't know if that's intentional. I, I don't know if like the developers were like, we could add a slow button and then didn't. Um, but that's that's interesting. Uh, what I mean by that, by the way, is at least in Toho, something that is very common is like you can hold a button down to move slowly so that, uh, you know, navigating around projectiles is a little bit more manageable. But we've uh, opted against that, and that's fine um, because so far the projectiles haven't been so, like, insane. They ha we haven't seen bullet hell to its its nth degree yet that uh, we need a slow-mo so I, I actually really appreciate what's going on here this isn't just visually distinct this is also um putting a pretty pretty good stake in the turf of of uh of a good shmup all right apparently we are fighting god no we're fighting angel of tranquility what are you bud you are like some kind of like sea urchin type okay i i saw a visual there of the projectile range good um honestly like for a genre that is very um like visual clarity is key visual clarity needs to be a hundred percent otherwise the genre does not work okay uh, and I have to say, I think thing, I think it's working quite well. They they are we've got good conveyance, we've got good visuals for where projectiles. Good, um, what's the term like? Like I can tell when something is going to happen and where it's going to happen, and I can avoid accordingly. Uh, so I, I appreciate all of that. That's all working for me pretty well. Ooh, okay. Well, we were going to take damage at some point. I, if I'm being honest, I could have avoided that could have avoided that too honestly apparently we've increased our max lives to five so that's interesting 
I'm just looking at the top left corner. If I just re would remember to like let go of my firing button for, you know, like sometimes a good defense is a good defense. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't have to just aim it for offense. We, we can also use it defensively to push back some of these projectiles. So for a game that only has like two buttons, uh, I actually really like this. It's got some good, uh, good things going on. Solid mechanics. I, I, ha I feel like I have agency as a player. Whoa, okay, bud. I can't believe I managed to avoid all of that. That uh, is honestly shocking to me. <laughs> now we've we, we, we don't we, we've got a oh, OK. Yeah, there's there's no way I was going to continue to get lucky there. We, we have to plan our shot. Like I got to I got to plan that. Oh, yeah, there's there's no way I can avoid. OK, now we're starting to see some some hardcore business. All right. It was it was going to happen. I was I was going to reach my limit. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh, oh God. Oh, OK, I, I, I might uh, I might be reaching my difficulty wall here. Also, this guy does not seem to be taking damage. I think I failed. I did not succeed in taking them out, but I did reach level three and now I have a third set of projectiles when I fire a third spread. OK, so, yeah, I mean, you're going to this is a game you're going to want to play a few times if you want to learn the patterns. That's just kind of it. I don't think that uh, like that's that's part of the genre. You, you want to play a few times so that you can, you know, recognize hazards. I really wish I could have maybe seen a option for like some of the display, not the interface, really just the notifications. Uh, some of these notifications are really not doing it for me. I wonder if I can kill these. I don't think I can, so I got to just avoid them. So we've we've got a very different kind of level here, structure wise. I'm wondering if we can kill these. I'm, I'm going to try. Tell you what, I'm just gonna use the circle button for a little bit. There, there's definitely got to be a reason for that to exist. It can't just be all like charge shots. But then again, I mean, play styles are a thing, right? Maybe that's maybe you can just get away with charge shots. All right. Oh god, that was a mistake. I was trying to make it work, but it didn't work. All right. This is this is this is a game right here, bud. This is a game and I am playing it. I, I was playing it. Okay. Now. I'm not playing it so well This is a it's got some Geiger vibes really impossible for me to not make that comparison uh, I know that uh, You know Geiger is a huge fan of of putting some like very like sexual imagery in all of uh, all of their work but like this game's definitely taken that uh, theme and like cranked it up to 11. Like everything, everything's got this both like flesh, violence, and sex all intertwining to make this like homunculus of shmup that has never existed before, as far as I know. Oh, uh, hell yeah, bud. It is time. <laughs> what are we fighting? The angel of uh, mercy? I don't know. Oh god, okay. You know what? Let's try holding the circle button for a bit. Maybe we can accomplish a bit more like that. Oh, interesting. Something... I, I, I accomplished something there that I don't think I did before. I think if I destroy some of those... Like, if I can kill these little nodes before they manage to fire off, then, then as, that actually accomplishes more than if I had fought the projectiles. Oh, okay. This is fine. I'm learning. I'm learning when not to use the charge shot and when to use the spread shot. It's, it's kind of coming together. I, um, okay. Yep. 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 Oh my God. I'm apparently not garbage at this game. Okay. Yep. I don't know what I'm doing here. There, there is, I really needed to use, use the charge shot at some point there. 
I really love this conveyance of like showing you vaguely where the shots are going to come in from. Uh, that's that's really working for me. We did it. I actually I, I didn't do well against the second boss, but I did do well against the third boss. So that works works for me. Uh, we've leveled up to we're still at level three. Very hard stage three. Uh, this might be the end of the demo, actually. Oh, yeah, might be. Genocide hard A. <laughs> sure, crank it up. Crank it to 11. Um, let's see what genocide mode B looks like. Oh my goodness, we are in hell. May as well, right? Can't can't have the video end in like 15 minutes. Let's just have a look at what the what the game expects from us at, at like a absurd difficulty rating. So far, this doesn't feel that different. The spread shot is definitely. I feel like it does more damage, which is a it's a kind of not what you would expect. You'd think that the charge shot would do way more damage because it's a charge shot right but actually it's a more of a defensive thing you want to use the spread shot if you want to do the good damage you know i wonder if genocide mode means you have to kill everything or else you lose that's an interesting idea that really would make things difficult so far i'm succeeding in that but i don't know if i don't know what what i'm doing yet you know I don't know what those collectibles mean. Like, I see them appear in the bottom left corner. And uh, I don't know what that means. Is there a button I'm missing somewhere? I really... It does. It just doesn't feel like a, I can press... I've tried all of the buttons and I'm not sure what they mean. So there's things to learn. There's things I don't understand yet. And I like that. You know, I always appreciate when I come into these games blind. And I, you know, I, I figure a couple things out and then there's a reason for me to play a second time. There's, there's things yet to discover and I always enjoy that. This is a game. Oh my God. Yo. <laughs> I, I'm enjoying this. It's just visually very stimulating, I gotta say. Like everything is just... Uh, don't take that out of context. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, there's a lot going on. Um, but not too much. I actually feel, I don't feel overwhelmed, which is a difficult balance to achieve with these kind of games, I think. We are going to fight Angel of Delight. Yeah. Hey, Antane. Hey, Antane. Have I fought this boss? This does not seem familiar to me. Oh, okay. Well... I'm surprised I I actually died now once or took a damage if you like and I'm still alive like usually in these hardcore modes it's like one life that's it eat shit you know well all right okay uh we really are uh breaching new ground with this game I think I'm glad I'm you know it's time to branch out a little bit That wasn't bad at all. That was, like, honestly, super manageable. I'm not sure. Genocide Hard Mission B, Stage 1. I'm not too sure what uh, what's different about this mode, but maybe I just succeed in, su succeeded in the goal of killing everything. So far, I am really just holding circle. I wonder if I take damage if uh, a creature escapes. You are incentivized to get kind of close to things, right? Because your spread shot does more damage if more of those projectiles are hitting. What is going on? <laughs> this is a uh, this is a visual nightmare. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Give me that. I feel confident. Like I feel confident right now. Everything's kind of working out. Uh oh, I, I maybe spoke a bit too soon there. Uh oh, okay. So something did escape. Um, but I seem to be still alive. I don't understand this mode at all. Actually, seems like uh, 
it's not that bad. It's honestly in some ways even easier than the first one, or maybe I just understand the game a bit better now. Uh, I'm sorry I'm letting some of these things escape, but, you know, sometimes I prioritize survival over collectibles. But, you know, my second or third time playing through this game, I would 100% uh, try and get everything. Really is no point not to, right? What is what is the second playthrough if not uh, an exercise in optimization and in uh, achievement, you know? This is... Th there's a lot of things going on. I don't know what's happening. My spread shots have become, like, intense on a whole new level. Uh, I'm at level 4, apparently. I I think I've leveled up more than I did the first time I played through. We have a charging thing in the top left corner. I don't think I fought this guy. If I did, I don't remember doing so. Oh. You know what? That's okay. I'm gonna allow myself that death. Sometimes you just kind of whoa, gotta give it a little swifty swoop. Gotta give it a little swifty swoop, you know? Uh, oh, I tried. I really tried. Those the the window between those shots was kind of insane. I'm not sure. You know what? Oh, there we go. That's that's what you gotta do. You sometimes you have to do a, a charge shot. And recognizing that is part of being a better player, I think. Ooh, oh, I, I actually really thought I had something there. Hey, I got through it, and I, I only have one life left, but I'm alive. Genocide hard mode stage B. And then the god just, like, throws up on the world. And, uh, and he's like, here is your gift. You know, I don't know. Oh, listen, I'm just, I'm, 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 you know, anyway, uh, this is Angel at Dusk and I think I'll be picking this game up. I think it's a lot of fun. I, I was definitely expecting, I don't know what I was expecting. I think mechanically it's actually a lot more dry than, uh, at first, uh, first impressions. Like first impressions really give you this idea of like some kind of weird gooey, ambivalent not ambivalent sorry ambiguous kind of mechanical game where you're not sure what anything does and it's it's trying it's trying to hold back information but when you're actually playing the game it plays much like a like any kind of toho and or any kind of shmup game it's actually more accessible in some ways than a lot of shmups i've played so uh for that reason alone uh, weirdly i would uh actually recommend it over a lot of shmups despite its its uh theming um but i mean i i like the theming but obviously that it, it's gonna be a bar for some people that it's like i i just don't want to play a game that looks like that necessarily um you know that's just the, the nature of it but uh i really like this angel of dusk uh let me know what you think of it in the comments <laughs> and uh let me know if you want more stuff like this in the future i mean obviously there's a line uh but uh i i kind of appreciate you know mechanically what this game is doing and there are other games like this that i can think of for sure that are like towing the line a little bit and i don't know uh how youtube will really appreciate that so we'll see how this does and see see if it gets my youtube channel shit canned um if you did enjoy this definitely hit the like button consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time take it easy